What is up guys, Julian Mikkel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to a new wine video. Today we're tasting some exciting champagne, a brand new cuvee by a super hot champagne house. This is episode 16 of the tasting with Julian Siri. Not every day a brand new craft of champagne comes out on the market especially when it's from a super hot a trendy super respected AR uh, Le Nob. it's a small boutique house family owned they've just released these mag 14 a cuvee this cuvee has actually taken eight years uh, to be crafted to be made with the intention of making the best, the purest, polished expression of non-vintage uh, champagne. Today we're tasting Mac 14 by AR Lenoble. Just enjoying a panoramic view of champagne. Open the bottle. Uh, let's get back to AR Le Noble uh, a little bit. Small champagne house, 45 acres, uh, founded in uh, 1920 uh, by the grandfather of the current owners, Anne uh, and Antoine uh, Malassan. They are very environmentally friendly. They use uh, minimal entrance, minimal additions to the vineyards, minimal chemistry uh, to the vineyards. They work and plow the vineyards as much as possible to preserve the environment and also give that little bit of special expression uh, to the fruit uh, that they produce. <coughs> Very passionate uh, winemaker there at AR Le Noble. For those of you who are not familiar with AR Le Noble, it's not everyone that knows about them. Uh, they're connoisseur champagnes. Uh, they're relatively small, so they're not widely crazily distributed all over the world but people that know champagne people that are interested in champagne know AR Le Noble so let's talk about them a little bit I'm gonna read you what Jancis Robinson master of wine says about AR Le Noble because she just summarizes it perfectly so there's no point me trying to do better than the master of the masters Jancis Robinson she says AR Le Noble is probably the most admired boutique family house right now there is an inter international buzz and it reflects the outbursts of family creative energy in the past few years from brother and sister owners Antoine and Anne Malassagne. Based in Damery in the Marne, one sub-region of Champagne, independent and family owned, the house's jewel of terroir quality is the 10 hectare 25 acres of Chardonnay in Grand Cru Chouy in the Côte des Blancs. It provides the finesse and elegance minerality which is the heart of all their wines. Ploughing the soil, grassing the alleys for low yields and near organic HVE certified viticulture and winery practices all make for intense fruit and fresh precision in all their wines. Here is a small house making a big point. This was a quote from Jancis Robinson. So essentially, boutique, uh, 45 acres, 20, 18, 18 hectares uh, property in different locations. They have 10 hectares in Chouilly, the heart of the Côte des Blancs, the best uh, Chardonnay sites, mineral, lime, chalky terroir, best terroirs for Chardonnay, and they combine this with the best sites in the Montagne de Rhin, best terroirs for Pinot Noir and a bit of Pinot Meunier as well. Family owned, a lot of passion, a lot of commitment to quality and this MAG 14 Cuvée is the absolute demonstration of this. Well, I haven't tasted it yet, but I hope it is. On paper, it should be. First of all, let's have a look at the appearance. Beautiful golden color. This is a non-vintage cuvee, but you can definitely tell it's got some golden hues. Uh, you can tell that some of this wine has been aged in barrel. It's actually quite frothy as well. I do have it a little bit cold, so um, it's a good thing to know, especially if you're having fine, fine champagne, to know that you don't want to serve it too cold. Uh, if it is a little too cold, uh, just hold it on your hands for a little while just to warm it up a little bit and it will express the aromas uh, much, much better. 
the nose on this champagne is super super elegant uh, it's very discreet it's very mild it's very civilized you get a sense that you're talking or oh, this wine is talking like a very civilized very educated uh, wine it's very subtle it is delicately nutty um, you're getting some macadamia hazelnut touches of brioche delicate flowers delicate white flowers as well as fine orange blossom essence touches of lemon touches of grapefruit it's fresh it's vibrant it's minty a little bit it's nutty it's deep it's brioche it's buttery there's so many little complex complex flavors but all expressed in a fine mild 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 expression sniffing this wine you just feel like you're sitting on the softest couch you could ever imagine you're floating on a cloud of delicate delicate flavors and aromas the palette as first is on the same line it's extremely delicate it's extremely refined it's extremely mild it's extremely soft bubbles are so smooth especially at first the palette is dry this is a brut there's only five grams of added sugar at dosage so it's a relatively low dosage but it coats your palate with a round body and oily texture so smooth from the mid palate on common a sharp solid mineral crispy acidity and that freshens up the whole experience and then flavors burst and explode So super charming champagne to start with before the Chardonnay, the Côte de Blanc minerality uh, comes into play, restrains the wine and then the wine gets bigger and bigger uh, towards the finish as well. It comes in with delicate tannins, this myriad myriad of flavors and complexity. This is a wine that is both civilized but from the mid palenon come some character some roots like you can taste the terroir you can taste the grapes uh, it's incredible that a nine-year-old uh, champagne can taste like fresh grapes uh, as much you can taste almost the, the 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 leaves of the chardonnay all the goodness from that uh, terroir the chalky soil a wine that is very refined but that brings a lot of salinity a lot of salivating character towards the finish a wine that feels like it's been made by a farmer uh, almost uh, not in a negative sense obviously but by someone that respects and loves his terroir love his vines you can taste the vines in this wine and this is quite incredible furthest away from a boring champagne a lot of character a lot of minerality a lot to analyze a lot to enjoy with a glass of this you can spend five ten minutes analyzing what the wine is telling you and every second every minute of these ten minutes will be a different experience so out of one glass of this champagne you're gonna get so many sensations if you careful enough so if you're sharing that bottle you want to share something special know that with just one glass of this you're gonna have so much and get so much out of it so much experience so much sharing that you can do <clears throat> let me explain how mag 14 cuvee is made it's gonna get a little technical if you're not super familiar with champagne but i'll try to explain it as briefly as simply as possible that's what i love about wine I love to explain simply and I love for everyone to understand and not be confused by all the jargon and, and things. Essentially Mac 14, the creation of Mac 14, what's really special about it, its creation started back in 2010 when Antoine Malassagne, the winemaker of Ayar Le Noble, started putting aside some wines and aging them in magnum bottles tapped with natural cork it is really rare to have champagne houses storing wine in, sh in magnum bottles because it takes an awful lot of time to bottle all the wines and then take them out again so back in 2010 they put aside some wines, some reserve wines in those magnums for aging 
they also put aside every year what is called reserve wines and they put this in oak vats uh, as well as stainless steel tanks as well as wine barrels so every year they put aside some wines and they put aside these magnums Antoine Malassagne has realized that with the global warming the climate change every year slowly wines of champagne are becoming less and less acidic he's found that putting the wines aging the wines in magnum bottles under cork help them preserve the freshness they evolve they evolve slowly but they preserve the freshness that is starting to mess a little bit from champagne and the freshness and the minerality that we love from champagne is fading away a little bit with global warming he's found this way to put it back and to preserve and produce the most interesting wines. So back in 2010, Antoine Malassagne put aside uh, some wine. In 2014, after harvest, uh, he blended uh, reserve wines, 40% reserve wines with 60% of 2014 wines. Hence the name Mag 14 Magnums of reserve wines and 2014 wines. So this is a non-vintage cuvee, it's blended, it's crafted, it's been designed to be as best uh, as possible. In 2014, maybe early 2015, Antoine Malassagne blended the different reserve wines and the best wines that he wanted and he put the wine back in the bottle for the second fermentation. He left these wines for another three, four years aging on lees in the bottles. And here we are at the end of 2018, eight, nine years uh, later, finally AR Mac 14 wine is out and it's out for me, lucky me to taste it, but share uh, this experience with you. Uh, AR Lenob, uh, intense, Brut uh, cuvee is something very special. Tasting this wine and going back to this wine that it's evolving as well. So by the time you get through the bottle, you get through your glass of wine as well, the wine is going to continue telling you stories and stories and stories. And that's the fantastic thing about it. fine, refined wines that have been crafted for years and years and years by careful winemakers, farmers that farm their land. The wine in the end tells you a story. It tells you many stories. This is better, I would say, than reading any book. But anyway, Eyal Le Nob, uh, intense brut uh, cuvee is something very special and experience. So I recommend you try it for me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will have more champagnes coming up soon. Episode 16 is only a beginning. I will be back and rolling more and more wine videos. So stay tuned. I will see you soon in the wine world.